The CDI soft key is located at the bottom center of the primary flight display or PFD. CDI stands for Course Deviation Indicator. The CDI needle is located within the compass which is part of the Horizontal Situation Indicator or HSI. We will cover the HSI in greater detail in future videos. Each time you press the CDI soft key, the HSI will rotate between GPS mode, VOR1 mode, or VOR2 mode. You'll notice that GPS mode displays in magenta color, while VOR1 mode displays in green with a single line green CDI needle, and VOR2 mode displays in green with a double line CDI needle. You can rotate the CDI needle to the right or left by rotating the inner section of the course barrel knob right or left. This is done to set your course. The CRS or course box at the top right of the HSI will show you what course the CDI needle is pointing to. VOR1 or VOR2 modes can be used to set frequencies for either VORs or localizers. Localizer is short for Instrument Landing System Localizer, or you'll see it abbreviated as LOC. Localizers provide horizontal guidance to the runway. We will get more deeply into localizers in future videos. For a deeper understanding of VORs, please reference the series of videos starting with VOR Navigation Part 1. VOR1 mode corresponds to the frequency set in NAV1 and VOR2 mode corresponds to the frequency set in NAV2. To show the relationship between NAV1 VOR1 and NAV2 VOR2, let's take a look at some examples. Using SkyVector, we have a section of a VFR chart showing two VORs. The Vichy VOR with frequency 117.7 and the Sunshine VOR with frequency 108.4. I set NAV1 to the Vichy VOR frequency and NAV2 to the Sunshine VOR frequency. I am pressing the CDI soft key to shift to VOR1 NAV1 so I can reference the Vichy VOR. Notice there is a deviation bar or D bar that is separated from the main CDI needle. It indicates that we are off course. When we reach the desired course, it will center with the rest of the needle. We will talk more about that in future videos as well. Now I will press the CDI soft key to reference VOR2, NAV2, which means I am now referencing the Sunshine VOR. When the D-bar is missing, it means we are not positioned to pick up the frequency transmitted from the VOR and will, in this case, need to get higher and or closer to the Sunshine VOR in order to pick up the frequency on the receiver. In our next example, we are going to set NAV1 to a localizer as if we were doing an approach. To see what this looks like, let's take a look at an ILS or localizer approach to KSUS runway 8 right. KSUS is Spirit of St. Louis Airport. You'll see that the frequency for the localizer is 110.55. Now I'm set to localizer 1, NAV1, and you can see NAV1 is now set to the localizer frequency. We will be going into approaches in much greater detail in the future, so stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.